But if I were to pick five things that just everyone should be doing for their mitochondria, a lot of it does look like health advice you might get somewhere else, but it, it actually is the best stuff, right? So we mentioned creatine. And I think creatine is really important because it's not in the mitochondria so much as it carries forth the mitochondrial energy of the rest of the cell, but that also feeds back in the repair functions for the mitochondria. And so I think creatine, optimizing your creatine status is super important. And I think that there, everyone who's not eating one or two pounds of meat per day should be, should probably be taking creatine. And you can think of it as uh, if you're eating red meat and you're eating it rare, you can err on the side of one pound. And if you're eating, and I, I would include as red meat salmon, which is like a reddish fish and is actually quite high in creatine. Um, if you're eating white meat, white fish, and you're eating uh, eating it well done, you want to err on the side of two pounds because you you're lose. They don't have as much creatine, then you cook the creatine out of them, and you wind up with much lower dose. Uh, 